Flagstaff is split into basically two sections, east side and west side. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of the east side versus the west side. We're gonna get into it right now. What's up everybody? This is Jason with the Schaefer Real Estate team here in Flagstaff, Arizona. If you're looking to learn everything there is to know about living, working, playing right here in Flagstaff, make sure you tap that subscribe button so you're notified every time we do a new video. And honestly, we get people calling every day who are relocating here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about relocating or coming here to stay, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. We just want you to know we've got your back when it comes to moving right here in Flagstaff. So let's get into the video today. I want to talk about east side versus west side of Flagstaff. Pros and cons of each. The town is basically split of Fourth Street, which is right in the center, obviously, and everything to the east side, what we call east side and west side, to the west of that. So let's get into the east side. Let's start with the pros. So on the east side, one of the pros is going to be it's much quieter. There's a lot less traffic on the east side than you're gonna see on the west side. It's there's it's just it's it's just a quieter place. There's not as many college students around, and there's just not as much traffic because there's not as many businesses. So, if you're looking for a good second home or you're just looking for a place to live here full time and you're just you want some quiet away from some congestion, a little farther away from the railroad tracks and the interstate. Another pro for the east side would be the public golf course. You have the public golf course, which is located right there in Continental Country Club. It's really close, good place to go for walks in, in the evening or just go enjoy a round of golf if that's what you're into. And it also has the Aspen Valley Golf Course, which does require a membership, but it is open to the public and is the most affordable golf course uh, membership uh, that's private in the Flagstaff area. So another pro, if you like golf, the east side might be your place. Another east side pro is it gets less snow because it's on the leeward side of the mountain. Typically it'll get a couple inches less of less snow, especially if you're out in the Doney Park area where it starts to drop in elevation. You're definitely not going to get as much snowfall as you would on the west side of town. Another thing with the east side is great uh, is you're close to trails. There's going to be Trails, almost any neighborhood you decide to live in, you're gonna be five to 10 minutes from trails and national forests. So that is really cool. There's not too many places that you can say where you're five to 10 minutes from trails and national forest. So let's get into some of the cons about the east side of town. So the east side of town is much older and not much older, I should say. There's older Flagstaff started on the west side, but in general, most of the homes on the east side of Flagstaff they're gonna be older homes. They're gonna need a lot of updating. So that's something you wanna consider. If you're looking on the east side, they have not put a lot of newer subdivisions in on that area of town. Most of the new developments have been on the west side. So something you wanna consider if you're looking for something newer, and more updated, the east side might not be your first place to look. Another con of the east side is there's not as many restaurants and amenities nearby. So you're not gonna have uh, you're gonna to have to drive across town and in Flagstaff when we have to drive 15, 10, 15 minutes across town for a lot of us, that's that's a jaunt, that's a drive. We don't like that. It's just something that growing up here and living here, it's something we we just don't like doing is driving across town. We want everything. We're, that's just how our society is. We want it, we want it right now. So you're not gonna have as many restaurants, you're not gonna have as many shopping, and you're not gonna be, you're most likely, your business is probably not gonna be located on the east side. It typically, you know, you've got the golf course, Houses are spread out and it's a lot farther away from most of the amenities in Flagstaff. Another con to the east side would be there's definitely not as many pine trees. And that ties back into the moisture. What we talked about earlier is on the leeward side of the mountain, you're not going to get as much snow and as much moisture. So with that being said, you're not going to have as many pine trees. Not to say there's not pine trees and there's, there's still plenty of areas that are engulfed in pine trees, but in general, especially get out in the Doney Park area, 
you get over to Continental, Walnut Meadows area, there's not going to be a lot of pine trees in a lot of those areas. So one thing you want to consider if you're in love with pine trees, east side might not be your flavor. Now let's get into the pros of, let's talk about the west side and get into the pros of the west side of town. So one of the pros of the west side is you have much, there's a lot of newer areas and subdivisions to choose from. So you're going to have a variety of homes to choose from, newer homes, and a lot of different styles. There's just more to choose from. There, there's still development that's going on on the west side of town. And so you've got a variety, you just got way more to choose from. That's one of the great things about the west side. Another pro to the west side of Flagstaff is that you're close to NAU and you're close to businesses and jobs. Most of the businesses in, in the community are located on the west side of town and along with Northern Arizona University, City of Flagstaff, Gore, Coconino Community, um, Co the Coconino County, all those top employers are all located on the west side. So you're not going to be far from that. With downtown Flagstaff's on the west side, you're going to have a ton more restaurants to choose from. You're going to be super close to them, a lot more shopping, a lot more amenities. So one of the definitely one of the better pros of the west side. Another pro of the west side is you've got trees everywhere. Most of the west side of Flagstaff, you're going to have ponderosa trees in almost every subdivision. Most all the lots, they're all full of trees. So you really feel like you're in the mountains when you're on the west side of Flagstaff. Another pro similar to the east side is going to be you're, you're still really close to trails almost anywhere you decide to live on the west side of Flagstaff. Not only that, you're only going to be a few minutes from the National Forest. Five to ten minutes, you're, five to ten minute drive from wherever you're living, you're going to be right in the heart of Coconino National Forest. Now let's get into the cons. Con number one I definitely would say is the traffic and congestion. Downtown Route 66, Milton, Butler, Getting home or driving across town or getting through there is it can be challenging, especially on Fridays when we've got uh, during the summer you got a lot of people coming up from the valley in town, and even during the winter with the ski traffic, it could be horrendous. Another con would be is NAU and the college students. Sometimes this can be you could be you know in a house and have it rented to a bunch of college kids next door who are partying all the time. Saying if you're in a condo or apartments. Uh, not only that, there's just college kids. This NAU's at their highest uh, student capacity ever. So we're seeing uh, just a huge, there's just a ton of people everywhere, especially on the west side where campus is located. So it's definitely heavy, a lot, a lot more congested, a lot more college students. The con, which I kind of talked about earlier with the traffic, is just the smaller streets. And a lot of those subdivisions, it can be challenging if there's a car parked on each side of the road is to get your vehicle through it. So... It can be challenging, especially in the winter time, when there's snow plow on the streets and there's people got their cars parked. It could be, it can, it can be a little bit of a challenge getting through some of those neighborhoods. And another thing with the west side is you've got the interstate I forty. You're a lot closer to I forty and I seventeen, so you got a lot more traffic noise and a lot more train noise in most of the neighborhoods on the west side of Flagstaff. So those are the pros and cons of east side versus west side and being a resident here in Flagstaff, I mean my whole life, I've lived on both the east side and the west side and I, I can't, both have their pros and cons, their trade-offs. I've enjoyed both east side and west side of Flagstaff. I don't have a preference of one over another, but there are a lot of people that do. My whole entire family, they love the east side of Flagstaff. I was actually the only one who lived on the west side of Flagstaff and I enjoyed it and it was a great experience and I love it. And so when it comes to moving to Flagstaff, you know, you've got a lot. Those are just a few things you want to consider when you come here. East side versus west side. Pros and cons, you got to weigh it out and really take a drive through the neighborhoods and see, see what you like. See what styles you like. See what you want to be close to. Everybody's a little bit different, so I hope this video kind of went off and shared some of those uh, the pros and cons of each and gives you something to think about when it comes to moving here in Flagstaff.